Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a quick review on Shan Chinese. Um, many of you might already know this, but Shan has a Chinese collection out, I believe for a few years. I've only been knowing about it and using it for about a year and a half now. And they have lots of different flavors. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say maybe even like 15, 20 different flavors. So they're not all great. Um, we like some more than others. Uh, but I just wanted to quickly give you guys my take on it and then um, I want to hear back from you guys hopefully let me, letting me know if you've tried them, how you feel about them. So one thing that I do want to mention is that if you're going to get these and you think that by using these you'll end up, which is what I thought, you'll end up with like Indo-Chinese, that's not going to happen. Um, when I saw these I was really excited because I thought that it would be like Indian, like Chinese fusion and that's what like I prefer rather than just having like Chinese food I love like Indo-Chinese which I'm from Chicago if you live in the Chicago area there's some really amazing like Indo-Chinese restaurants at least there were three years ago hopefully they're still in business so anyways when I got these and I tried them on I was a little disappointed because I didn't really like taste the the curry or like the Indian part of it um, it's mainly just Chinese flavor on steroids. So what they've done is to make it more, um, I guess, to make it more like desi taste, they've just upped the masala, but they haven't really given it more of like an, uh, a Pakistani or Indian flair to it. So what I like to do is, I don't follow the recipe, I just use like half the packet and then add my own masalas. And you guys know I do that with all Shan masalas, so I'll just put like curry powder or like coriander powder and kind of give it more of that Indian um, Chinese fusion to it. So what I recommend is if you're going to try these out, follow the recipe once and just cook it that way and see how you like it. And then if you feel like, okay, you want more of that Indian taste to it, then you know I can show you guys a few variations on how to get that using these. So one thing that I do want to mention is that with a lot of Shan packets, like with the regular like curry and like the desi packets, um, we have to add additional salt, and maybe that's just because my family eats really high salt. But um, with these, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I believe like these are a little bit high in sodium already to begin with, and then once you add like soy sauce to it, it's just really high. So definitely play with these first, and like add a little bit and add more if you need to. Or, for example, with the fried rice, it says to use two and a half cups of rice, and I end up using a little bit more, and then use the whole packet because it is a little bit strong um, but so I guess my my overall take on this is that they're good if you're gonna modify it and add your own masala but by itself it's not anything really special or different which is what I was expecting so that's my take on it let me know if you guys wanna see any tutorials on how I use these and then kinda of mix them up with my own masala uh, and also let me know if you guys have tried them or would like to try them or what you guys feel about them or any other um, you know Chinese recipes that you guys might have I would love to hear from you guys I will talk to you later